Okay. biased as it is, reflects his leadership. So now I'm getting it again. Okay, go ahead. That was me. I put it closer to the speaker, so go ahead. Okay, but I'm still hearing whatever. I'm still hearing the echoing. So, so, you know, I can't. I can't, I, can't, I can't work from this. I can't either. Lindsay, can we get, let's just figure this out. Can I give you a call back in like maybe 10, 15, in 10 yeah, minutes? Yeah, sure. Or do you want me to, I mean, I can just like turn off my, should I just remain in the Zoom or do you want yeah, me to like, jump? You don't yeah, mind. I don't mind. I, just, I hate, you know, but maybe dig around the mural like this yeah, section, just get a sure. sense of what's going on here. Okay. I'm going to put it, I'll put it in the, in the chat. In the chat. Sounds good. Thank you. Madonna, to okay. give you some idea of our position between the mayor and SMART and our advocacy for community, for community which both paid zero attention to. And yet today we're going to repeat the same mistake of that culture. And two different reasons on behalf of what the mayor's position was, which was for her own grandizement, and of course the smart culture, which was merely their own self-aggrandizement, um, and, and both being wrong because it had to be about the community and had to be about those individuals, which was our position, which was what we were advocating for, and we were successful in doing that. And then isn't it interesting that when it came time to vote, the two organizations couldn't agree on how to go about that, and it failed to manifest itself. And yet here we are, 85 years later, and they're repeating the same mistakes. And, and one can't um, identify how, how that would be possible. Okay, hold now hold that thought and i'm going to show vid lindsay the video of our conversation with madonna right yep. now if you will just like close out everything on your screen shut down your computer open back up and, and try to get on to the zoom that'll probably be should do it okay i'll do that and and just and be, make sure to look at your volume at the bottom right corner and um, test your microphone when it asks you to to get back onto Zoom. Okay. 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 Cool. All right. I'll show. I'll show this Lindsay. Okay. Bye. Okay. So I'm gonna unmute you, Lindsay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna show you this little snip I dug up. We we were really doing some deep diving, thinking about your your thesis and we really think you're on to something here, um, but there's a, a story arc that that just maybe needs a little bit of filling in. And I dug this up and it really um, is very important because it, it frames the kind of advocacy we had to put forth to get, even to get the transit talks um, and the design process for community in play because we were really up against a lot of hurdles. I'm gonna let that speak for itself. So okay. there we go. I'm gonna start it at around two, but you can go back and look at the whole thing, but like from two to seven, okay. you know, the crux of what was happening, so. 
I guess open a new tab. Now this is a conversation just between uh, Jim, myself, Jim, and Madonna. Okay. But it was about this letter that she was going to be sending to the mayor um, and, and, and kind of the early stages of all of the, I think we had gone through maybe one or two um, trans, transportation summits at that point, but we were still advocating to get the transit talks okay. going. And there was a conflict about surveys and design and all of that. So here we go. <laughs> Can you hear it? Um, I can't actually. You can't? Uh-uh, cannot. Gotcha. Let me see what I can do here. Okay, this are both as high as it can go here. Oops. Another dumpster fire, but. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear it now? I can't actually. Yeah, I don't know why not. Hmm. Did you did you click share audio when you started the Zoom? Oh gosh. I didn't do that thing again. Or you know, started the screen share. Can mm -hmm. I do that? Can I how do I can I do that while I think you just yeah, I think you just you just stop screen sharing for a moment and then you I'll do the screen share uh -huh, again. And then do it over again and then just click um, share audio. Thank you. This one's mm -hmm. still I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I wish it were automatic, but I guess it makes sense that it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I can. Now? Mm -hmm. I'm going to push it a little bit up to about two minutes.
she doesn't know what the right way is. But she doesn't know what the right way is. But she doesn't know what the right way is. Hello. Can you hear the video? Go ahead. Can you hear that, right? You can hear it. Oh, yeah. became transit talk. A student. Okay. Oh, you student. Let's say that, let's say that if we did, oh, 15 or 20 of those, okay, uh -huh. of which there's probably 100, right. we can then have them come. In other words, once this word gets out, it'll have a momentum of its own. And then we can actually be providing a service to the place that they should be coming in the first place 
which is their downtown. But right now they don't come to their downtown for all the right reasons, this being one of them, okay? Right. So you want to have success. Let's go out among them and see if we can't move the momentum back towards them coming to their downtown where they should have come in the first place, but don't because of the very issue that we're describing, which is that the governance is going to determine this for you, thank you very much, and your input's not necessary. Here are the top five choices as we've determined. And they're going, well, what about, and what about, and, and already you have to deal with the objection. Let's not deal with the objection, let's create the solution. Okay, I hear you. And if, we, and if, and if we have to do that behind the scenes, all right, we will. And if we have to put a face on it that says, no, we're adhering to the mayor's proposition, we can do that. Okay, okay? I can do that. Just as you're, just, just as you're describing. Okay, it's a little duality. It's a little duality, but don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so the things that she said, we're going to survey, devise a survey that would determine the needs, and the survey would come from somehow, and we decided that our marketing department could work on that survey. So it might be where we get together with Beth and Robert and talk about this. Okay. So you can hear me okay? Yep. Okay. Tell me when you want me to stop this if we got the right information conveyed for now. Well, I think I think you've I think we've conveyed the the, the bulk of that. Yeah. Th that we're in the lead. <laughs> okay, so let, let's pick it what up. What do from you there. think about that, Lindsay? What you just heard? Yeah, I think I think that's really interesting. And I think that it does. Um, speak directly to one of the research questions about the challenges of using this type of approach and the tension. Um, and I think I very briefly touched on this in the, the draft about, you know, just they're not being the value of design thinking, not being fully understood among um, decision makers. And so I think, yeah, I think I heard some really good quotes from Jim in that clip where you said you were talking about what's wrong with surveys and then Madonna, um, goes back with saying, well, they're so open-ended. And then, you know, you're saying, yeah, but you have to go directly to the customer. So I like that whole exchange. I think that's really important and really interesting to kind of tease up. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that can certainly be, be addressed in the draft in terms of the things that have happened in the past 10 days. Um, so let me just kind of step back and tell you where I am. So my deadline is July 14th. That is the deadline that I have to submit the dissertation to the grad school to graduate in August. And at this point, my advisor's like, don't tinker with it, you know, much more. A done dissertation is a good dissertation at this point. Um, so I'm not able to kind of, you know, go beyond the window that I currently have, because then that would mean that I would also need to go back to the 
to the other case study, which is currently happening and extend that window. So that's just not feasible. But I think I can certainly um, certainly kind of tease up this, this issue that you're, you're bringing up with the clip and, and, and um, integrate that into the discussion. Um, yeah, I, th I think what's, what's given kind of the time frame right now, what's most helpful is, you know, what, what kind of given, given what's kind of currently included in the write-up, like needs to be, um, you know, edited or corrected, like what, you know, did I get anything wrong? Um, what kind of needs, you know, kind of cleaning up what's there. I really don't have space to add, to add, to kind of add any other threads at this point, if that makes sense. Yes, that makes sense. However, I would I would suggest this is that the conclusion has shifted. Okay. Okay. the 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 recognition um, on behalf of the mayor and Smart that the customer was the important ingredient here was the reason why it failed because in their minds, they were the important ingredients, both on behalf of SMART and on behalf of the mayor, which was absolutely wrong. And, and interestingly, the last few days has produced a new way of looking at that problem because they are about to repeat the same process. Right, yeah, I understand that. And, and so also keep in mind that this, you know, this is, the dissertation, you know, gets filed away. I'm still going to be spending the next year with as a postdoc, actually, you know, kind of cutting this up and creating journal articles for publishing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's an opportunity to, you know, kind of revisit the story at that point. It doesn't necessarily need to be addressed right now. Okay. There, there are some so, things so that 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 should like. You are going to be looking at our edits that we have in here, okay. right? Like, yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that you had those posted, but I will definitely go and look at them. And I think they're in the original document that you said, I, I did track changes. Yeah, yeah, I just, I didn't see where you sent that back to me. Maybe I overlooked it. I thought it was just in the document itself, you would see track changes, but I will send them to you. Okay, sure. Because there, there's some things that just it has to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that, and that, and that, I completely, you know, that that's why I wanted you to review it. It was, you know, it's kind of a difficult story to kind of piece together um, from yeah. all of all of the the portions. But yeah, so you know, things that like absolutely have to be changed will be changed. I just can't kind of expand the the window of time that I focus on for this. You don't have to expand. You don't have to expand the window of time. the The facts are that the way in which it unfolded. Mm -hmm. is well understood. Right. So it's not necessary to, to add anything. It has to just be reflecting what took place. Sure, and I what, understand. I'm in complete agreement with and that. And what took place is the failure of governance and the transportation mindset. Both failed to take into consideration what was taking place on behalf of the community. Right. And today we now recognize that that is leading the conversation. And we only have to go to Pete Buttigieg and his most recent orientation yesterday on the reconnection plan and how that is leading the conversation. And it's not about blame and it's not about failure. It's about what are we going to do that is addressing the problem and we have to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. And if you recall our effort on behalf of Parking Day last year, it was to solve the bus stop problem. Right. That yeah. story has now emerged in the city of Detroit as the number one metropolitan issue in the country, Detroit has become the story. And the reason they've become the story, quite frankly, is historical. They are the automotive capital of the world. And that is the most relevant thing in today's discussion as regards transportation and its failure. Mm -hmm. It also has the right population 
uh, for the story. And, and I could go on and on and on about why that's so critical in this moment and so valuable in this moment. And I think that's what makes your dissertation really timely, really dynamic, because you can't get that 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 story is so um, any other way because the mixture of ingredients don't exist anywhere else. We are the automotive capital of the world. We did destroy our transportation system knowingly. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so here comes this moment in, in, in transportation playing such a critical role in the future of cities because of the transition of 3 billion or 8 billion people over the next 20 years back to cities, <laughs> you better have mass transportation in, 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 in a working order or you're going to find a, a, a huge failure in that transition. So it really values your position that you've taken on this dissertation. And, and I loved the old headline because I think that he speaks of all of these things. It is about innovation. It is about imagination. And, and strangely enough, in Detroit, we now have the Innovation District funded by a billion dollars of Ford Motor Company money, and they still don't know what the answer to their problem is. But Bill Ford is expecting to find, and this is why I am so excited about what is taking place there, he expects to find the answer on the bottom floor, not the top floor, on the bottom floor of the Michigan Central train station. Mm -hmm. And, and th there's a dynamic there that's very powerful. And, and the city of Detroit hasn't taken that message that is being played out there very seriously. They keep wanting to make it a downtown campus Martius play, which is really, you know, enviable because you, you want your core of the city to be, you know, um, um, how should I say, um, exciting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But really the innovation is going to take place over at the Michigan Central train station in Corktown. Right. Well, so, so two things. So one, yeah. So the, I, I kind of, I did initially have, um, you know, kind of the place-based innovation theme. Um, a lot of feedback that I got from my committee when they reviewed the, the first version was to really kind of tie it into transportation equity, which is why I kind of made the, mm -hmm. the change to procedural injustice. Um, oh, but I, yeah, I do think, I do think there's a way, like you said, you know, maybe in the, the subtitles of your case study, kind of, you know, teasing up the innovation piece a little more strongly. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then just kind of, you know, going back to the, to the, kind of stepping back and just thinking about the project in general, you know, the, the research question, which has been my research question from the very beginning, like going all the way back to the Earth Day talk that I gave was, you know, is there potential with design thinking? Like, is there something here that's worth, worth pursuing further? And so, um, you know, and I, and so that's, you know, really what the focus of, of the dissertation is. And it's tricky with design thinking because I do understand, you know, how much context plays in all of this human-centered, in the whole human-centered paradigm. Um, but it, you know, it, it, at some point you kind of have to rope off, you know, kind of rope off the project concept. And it's, it's hard to kind of decide where to do that. Um, <laughs> and, and I, you know, I do think that there's a lot more, the, the Pontiac story is really interesting and I know it's continually unfolding. Right. Um, but I have to just That's like the, keep harping back on, you know, what the main objective of the dissertation was and does, does telling more of that story um, support, you know, kind of the overarching question. So yeah, you see the blue, the little blue thing that I created, it was, what, what did I title? I don't remember. Design thinking for transportation. Yeah, yeah. So just really? like, you know, what, what, what's the, what potential is there? And that's what I really have to you know, kind of keep, to keep myself focused on this sure. doesn't become unwieldy. And, 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 and all like, of that makes sense. With, yes. With this, with this exception, in every moment of every story, there comes a transition point. And in design thinking, the transition point is we are no longer about diagrams. We are about visual communications, pictures, because pictures speak thousands of words. 
And a sticky note is really great for a sticky note, but it doesn't speak thousands of words. And today's world is one of complexity. And what we're probably, what we're bumping up against in design thinking and in business in general is the ability to convey massive amounts of information. And those massive amounts of information are typically documents. And those documents have wonderful paragraphs and mm -hmm. buttons and bullets and all kinds of stuff. But you can't convey the amount of complexity and information in documents any longer. Right. And so we're going yeah. To and I think so one of one of my questions for future research that ties back, I think, into one of the articles I shared with you is, you know, looking more closely at like, what are some of the actual practices and techniques that are being used, you know, um, in a design thinking process like this? And I think that perfectly answers those future questions. And maybe we, you know, I could exactly. flesh, flesh yeah. out that question mm -hmm. in particular mm -hmm. to kind of get to kind of get at what you're saying, Jim, if you wanted to offer some language around that, I'd be happy sure. to incorporate it. Great. Well, I think that's in your future, right? Because you're going into that world. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this this is this is not the I, I I've I've really enjoyed, I really love design thinking. I've enjoyed this topic. And I, I do think that there's just a lot, a lot of potential here, not just in transportation, but in you know, city planning more broadly. So yeah, I don't I don't see this as being my my final, <laughs> you know, jaunt with the topic. Right, um, right. So that yeah, there's certainly a running list of of questions that I want to to dive into deeper in the future. There, there is no other vehicle that I'm aware of in the business world that begins to address that complexity issue. Mm -hmm. We can talk about all kinds of um, uh, software. We can talk about all kinds of um, thinking and developments and um, business actualization mm -hmm. uh, and acquisition. None of it gets to the design. And I like to refer to this because it's so, so, so important is the stick in the sand. I mean, the, the advent of the stick in the sand to instruct was brilliant. It's still brilliant today. And it is because you can very easily convey vast amounts of information with a stick in the sand. And, mm -hmm. it, and, it's, and it, it's still so today. Um, which is really an amazing concept. If one thinks about it deeply, it, 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 it goes to the art of communication. It goes to the empathy that is recognized by the, 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 the user in its intention and the um, individual that interacts with it. Mm -hmm. and, and we're just beginning that, that, that interaction and we're just beginning uh, the, the the need has been generated by the leapfrog of, um, you know, video conferencing. It, without that, we could still do with just documents and we'll make our way through it, okay? But True. now that we've got this real time planted in our brain and everybody's a Zoom expert um, in their minds, um, that has accelerated the need for this, this visually um, diagram world to unfold, um, which is a very exciting thing because I think it's going to be rather quickly that that, that becomes, um, you know, kind of the manifest focus. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I think that transportation is that also of all the things that we were going to have to solve in order to be, you know, a, a collective success in the transition over the next couple of decades, transportation is probably the key. And when you marry those kinds of things together along with the academic proposition um, and the work that has to be done there, um, you know, work from home and learn from anywhere is, 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 is I think as big as steam in the 18th or in the 19th century, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and, and we haven't quite recognized how powerful that is, but just merely 40% of 
this isn't going back to work and 40% of this is not going back to university is some indication of how powerful it is. Do you feel like um, that, and I'll, I'll look at them after this call, do you, do you all feel like the edits that you made to the document kind of capture everything that we've talked about today? Um, I, 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 think, I, I think the discussion is, is still not about uh, yeah, um, concise um, decisions, but more a, a uh, suggestion that, that these things, these elements are important as, 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 as benchmarks or um, things to be, to be, to, 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 to push inquiry um, to some conclusion. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think we have the answers yet. I, you know, how is work from home actually going to land? I mean, we know that 40% don't want to go back to work. So what is, is that going to, to hold? Are 40 to 60% of grade school students not going back to school? That, that's still up in the air, okay? I mean, I don't think we can conclude that that's the answer. I, I think the, 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 the quick answer is, oh, that's how it's going to unfold because we have technology. Well, it, I've heard that story. I've been in, in a number of if, efforts on, on behalf of technology. Um, and, and it's always surprising how, um, yeah, that addresses a problem, but doesn't solve the problem. Um, so I, I, I can't answer, your, answer that with a, a yes or a no. I, okay. I think each, well, each one of them have to be part of a story that, 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 that moves you in a direction that is, is plausible. Yeah. Um, and, and is and is is supported by things that are taking place. I mean, we're working in a world right now that is changing dynamically as we speak. And they keep um, confirming some of what is 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 being put forth on, on, on from from our point of view and from a design point of view and from a um, human centered point of view. Mm -hmm. So in, in some that, of the, the earlier chapters, I do touch upon, you know, kind of design thinking and, uh, and helping to deal with uncertainty. So I think mm -hmm. that kind of mm -hmm. touches upon what you're saying a little bit, although it yeah. might not, maybe I haven't carried that thread through to the, the, the later chapters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so why don't we do this? Why don't you take a look at those and we will, you know, work through them again and and we we, we tag up um, after the weekend. That sounds good. Why don't I do this? Um, so I do have changes from um, some edits from some other Pontiac reviewer. So why don't I combine everything into one document and then I can share that this newest version. So I'll take your edits and the, the other edits um, and combine it into a new, a new version. And I can share that, um, probably sometime over the weekend, but yeah, if we awesome. could reconvene early next week, that'd be great. My goal is to, so it's not formatted properly. My goal is to kind of do a final proofread and then send it off for formatting, um, which takes six days. So that will need to happen, um, probably towards the end of next week to make sure that I can meet the deadline. Um, but yeah, if we can, if we can kind of reconvene, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, and just so I can make sure that you're comfortable with kind of this final version, that would be great. Awesome. Awesome. Fantastic. Yeah, Fabulous. that sounds great. There were like, we were thinking there were three core elements to just because you experienced them and we'll include them, but the Earth Day parking day and parking day kind of the fact that we do work in this kind of evolving sense that we weren't limited to just that smart that we've been like following the thread all the way down and now we're in the Michigan Central Innovation District and now you know there's a whole new story thread over here about smart closing that bus stop which I don't think Jim touched on yet if you want to just like dig into this because you experienced it and that that email controversy was live when you came to visit us Mm -hmm. 
about the, the owners of that tower and, and the Phoenix Center. And now SMART has gone, they went ahead and like abruptly closed that bus stop recently. And it was a huge catastrophe. And we were on a, um, this is one of the leading transit advocates in our um, ecosystem, David Gifford. He wrote the tra transit guide and he copied us on this tweet that went out to everyone and, and it caused another big controversy. So this is another thing to just, I know it's overwhelming sometimes, but that is like more accurate that we're just like pushing the system. <laughs> so, so, what's, so what's really overwhelming about it is they never contacted the city of Pontiac. Right. It's their they, just closed, they, they closed the bus station. Okay. It. It, and never contacted the city council nor the mayor. And they were they were just blown away at the audacity of smart to, to do such a thing, and rightfully so. I mean, even in this 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 moment, you would assume that the leadership of smart had arrived at least in the 20, 20th century, okay? But they're still in the 19th century and, and demonstrated that and had to text the mayor during the city council meeting to apologize. <laughs> and you're going, what don't you understand about communicating? And of course they don't recognize their own cultural bias. Pontiac's not important. Yet it's the it's the most sensitive bus stop and the most participating and, and largely used bus stop in Oakland County for crying out loud. Not to mention the fact that they only uh, are even alive today, given that there were thirty nine votes cast in in favor of having Smart in the county of Macomb. Mm -hmm. And that's Donald Trump country, so they'll be surprised that Macomb thumps them, okay, in the next election. This puts their whole organization at risk because they are just a part of Oakland County. They're not a regional player. They, they, they enjoy no relationship with the city of Detroit, as an example you aren't going to have a successful regional transportation system. And, and, and Brooks was always there for them. And now they have no leadership. They have nobody to make a case, a crazy case that it may be, but Brooks was able to do that. Uh, they don't have that any longer. And, and my fear is, is that we could see the, the, the whole of SMART disappear because it's unfunded and more importantly is not providing a service that takes into account the constituents who inhabit it. Which is yeah, I think one of, um, one of the ideas I got from my, one of my committee members about future research is looking at, you know, kind of the, the governance culture and what needs to change within an agency and within, you know, a decision-making body to really embrace a human-centered paradigm and a human-centered kind of orientation. So I think, I think all of this is, is related and is really inter interesting and helps to kind of, like you said, Jim, kind of flesh out and kind of push future inquiry. There we go. There we go. So th this is, this is a great conversation. Yeah. I appreciate you. Okay. Yeah. And we'll, and I know that it's hard to get out. I'll, I'll work on those edits a little bit more too, because you can't get it all. You're in a push. And yes, you get the big picture in mind. It, yeah, and that's good. And we'll play with some details. Okay. okay. I'd appreciate yeah, that. Some things you're, you're, <laughs> you probably won't be able to articulate totally because <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> well, it's, it's why we said we, we've got game after you get your PhD, okay? True. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> there's there's it, plenty to, to pick up here, for sure. Abs yeah. Absolutely. There's and, and have some fun while we're doing it. You know, we, we don't do things that aren't fun. Yeah, we, we want success. We yeah. just have to be seen in, as a long game organization. <laughs> That's right, I mean. right. Yeah, I understand. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm thinking maybe, maybe I should just use... Maybe I'll add the other edits to your version. Would that be helpful just to like kind of save time? I'll just click, I'll just go to um, the document where you all have already made your edits. 
like hear it from the uh-huh. morning. Yeah. And then just add to that. Okay. So that we're just kind of, well, let's um, see where that manage version okay. control. Yeah. Right. And And then then if you you do want to kind of go back and continue to edit a little bit more that way, everything's kind of happening in one document. I think that would save time in the long, in the long run. Okay. Um, And then did you, did you see, I did have a note to replace the the templates with kind of clean versions. Were were you able to do that or do you have image files that you can send me? So so let me address. Sure. Sure. Let me address those things. So, so those elements are not our elements those are elements that we have borrowed um, okay from various sources two of them are from grove graphics okay Uh, and that's 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 no problem and the and and the third one is from a book called visualize what what is it monica the visual big picture picture thinking big picture thinking. visual learning no visual thinking visual collaboration i think collaboration yeah it, 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 hold on she's going to grab the book it was right out in front there um so we'll have to attribute that to them okay sure okay it that it, it, it wasn't our hand drawing but that that's a beautiful way of making a a a a um, journey map mm-hmm. uh, being hand drawn um and then um i don't think there was anything i think that was that was the things I had on my list. Well, I wonder. Um, Here it is. That yeah, one. Okay. Collaboration. So I wonder if maybe it makes sense then, then to not have like a clean template, but to you to show. Yeah. One of the versions where you all have filled filled them out. Does that make? Yeah, more sense? That, I think that does make more sense. I can think- pull that from from this smart from the uh-huh. summit or the transit it, talks board. You, yeah, these were the two boards that we use most that has all uh-huh, of them. That have them. Okay, I can pull board. it from there. So that was from 2017. And then these were, this was a summary of the three summits. Mm-hmm. Then, I think that's important. That's that's contextually relevant. That's true. That's uh-huh. true. Uh-huh. And then, okay. And then your board, this board for you, it might be, um, wise to reference just because it's how we went about kind of rooting yeah, you in so, context. Uh-huh, I agree. So um, one of the papers that I do want to write out of this is about just the methodology in general, like kind of not even digging into the case studies. And I think showing this board will make a lot of sense for that to kind for of that. kind of document like the journey. Yeah, the, yeah. the journey of the project. Mm-hmm. Right. Awesome. Yeah, we can't give it all awesome. to them all at once. <laughs> <laughs> um, and one other thing too, I think, and I'll I'll speak to this and carve out a paragraph, but I I I, I know you've got a flow and you've got the whole of it in your mind. Mm-hmm. Um, but there, I thought it was, I thought that our design of the transit talks was pretty important, like in regarding some of your thoughts in the preceding chapter chapters we okay. have, we uh-huh. have read about like how do you include because the societal way of going about and the governance way um typically has their own chosen groups and for us it was really important to like to go to public housing and they fought us on that we actually did not get a transit talk for the public housing oh, okay mm-hmm. jim is a board member of walton park manor cooperative and um, help negotiate their HUD um, computer learning center that's, mm-hmm. you know, but just a long history there with um, also getting like a, a $5 million grant for public housing education, some of our work in education. So, and that's why we were able to advocate also to go to like International Technology Academy and talk with kids, go to public housing. Um, go, we went to Detroit Startup Week was to bridge the connection between Detroit and Pontiac, but also to talk to entrepreneurial talent, which our state faces a real brain drain. So connecting that on. So so it kind of works with how do you get a more expanded audience? And those transit talks really work to get that established too. So I'll mm-hmm. try to communicate that. Uh, that was 5,000 entrepreneurs in Detroit. Yeah. Before the Innovation District 
broke. Proposition, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and today I would say we might be lucky to five to find five thousand entrepreneurs. <laughs> <laughs> and packed up and left. And that's from the loss of that four billion initiative. So and I put that in the chart and language and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. yeah. Well, well that those are the key elements that we just thought communicated and fit with your, you know, talks. And then you were also talking about expanded knowledge. And like when you talk, sometimes when you look at these boards, they are overwhelming, but they've been built up over time to to allow that expanded thought when you when you're faced typically dealing with very narrow focus, like th with the conversation with Madonna and the mayor, like they just want to narrow. So that's just the difference in it. And it causes concern, you know, with technocrats, with authoritarians and, and others that like are kind of, oh, what's going on here? I can't control it. I can't own it. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and there's another, you know, the, the final conclusion comes with the, you know, finalization of the, uh, of the, um, so I'm, 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 uh, the forensic audit that that will conclude here in July or August. Yeah, and, and I'll they will re they will revisit the Phoenix Center. They will revisit the um, um, smart bus and a couple of other things that we were involved with, like our, our, our grant for the park that, that, that they went ahead with and spent. Um, all of those things are on the forensic audit and, and we've been made aware by people who have been contacted uh, by the organization who's con compiling all of the evidence on the forensic audit, that those three or four things are high on their list of, of, of issues, okay, that mm -hmm. are gonna have to be answered to and resolved. So. So this thing's far from being just pushed off the, the table because of a new administration. They, they, right. They they are going to have to deal with those things. So um, I th think that's going to be timely. I, I, my feeling is 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 I think it's a great opportunity for smart to get smart, and I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I'm praying that they recognize, uh, you know. It, the enthusiasm you, of their uh, the enthusiasm of the people they serve is important. <laughs> mm -hmm. when, when you suffered under a culture that was doing the wrong thing, and it's something as big as transportation is and has been and continues to be, and even now much much larger because of this 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 human uh, movement uh, to cities. Um, you get comfortable and you imagine that, well, this is the way it is. And, and you might even lose sight of the fact it may not be what it should be. Um, and I think that's, that, that unfortunately is what's happened. And, and, you know, Brooks passed away a year or so ago and we come to this moment in time and the culture no longer will support the premise and you don't have the power broker that he was in the fifth or 10th, and you can imagine the fifth or 10th richest county in the country, he's a, he, he's got a, he's got a game. Okay. And, and he's gone. And what was, what was easily dismissed because Brooks was so powerful is no longer dismissible. And, and that's a real hard thing to have to, to, to orchestrate. And right now they don't have a leader. They hired a new fellow from Cincinnati. Great. He knows nothing about the history. He knows nothing about the the, the, the situation and the politics and in all of that. And the individual who was the director is now second in command, and I'm sure he's not a happy camper. And um, Madonna the, is the um, ombudsman. You know, isn't that cute? But she really is the person who runs the 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 um, uh, bus. Uh, uh, depot. Repair. depot, okay, mm -hmm. as a gift from Brooks. Well, that's great. Unfortunately, none of those things are going to solve this here leadership problem that that takes a, a viewpoint that is is a bit progressive and relevant to something as important as transportation in the Tri County area. 
uh, and and I I just I I'm my my feeling is these guys may not be able to respond. I mean, you and I both I, I'm sure recognize that transportation has been underfunded forever, right? And and, and continues to need more dynamic funding. And, and yet there is no rational reason given what just happened with the pandemic and work from home and mm -hmm. learn from anywhere. I, mm -hmm. Whoa, I, I don't know how, unless you are a magician that you convey that to a taxpayer. <laughs> I, I, you know, so it really gives me some concern because Detroit cannot be a player no way can it be a player without an adequate transportation system. And the right. only one we've had, nobody paid any attention to it because it was made in the suburbs, has no standing and no, no, no cogent leadership to make this case and, and bring it to, to, to some valued proposition in the city of Detroit. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's a problem. And MDOT... Um, is not going to be that solution, and 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 and, and D dot is not going to be that. So I'm just wondering how this unfolds. Okay, it just you know, Detroit has spent billions of dollars attempting to amass some, uh, you know, magnificence on behalf of itself, and and even Dan Gilbert now, who has got a multi-million dollar, billion dollar investment there. He comes up short because, you know, like all good people who have a lot of money, you've got it all leveraged and the bank now wants you to have some, you know, commitment on behalf of the city for several hundred million dollars. And the city's going, but you're a billionaire. And so he may not get the tax break that he needs in order to get a loan from a bank for the Hudson Center, which is going to be, and was considered to be the biggest and tallest tower, is tallest building in, in downtown. Now revitalized as, well, half of that. Well, maybe a third of that. And now the taxpayers have said, how about none of that? And you're going, uh-oh, the emergency bells are ringing. Yeah. And this is a guy who's got billions spent and unfortunately he suffered a stroke about a year ago and so he's not at 100% and and it's an oh my god moment here in Detroit so not to, not to yeah, get this not to get him off on another <laughs> side <laughs> but it, it is all connected in some fashion like the future of Detroit needs to be now and and I'm living in the and working, we have office in the Michigan Central Innovation District and mm -hmm. zero buzz, like it, except for the random photographer who comes about every now and then. It is just very lacking of, you know, being a buzz generator typically in Pontiac, we know what buzz is and like how word gets on the street. Uh -huh. You know, you talk to someone and the, the word's going around. I can't find one person who's just an everyday human walking the streets around here who's talking about the future of you know <laughs> this project this billion dollar uh -huh. investment yeah. billion mm -hmm. dollars, so. and that's really the future is like talent attraction everything around those systems so the car maker has to change and the biggest developer downtown who Jim was referencing, you know, that was all real estate focus, never really social infrastructure focus. So now mm -hmm. just transportation in general and making sure all those ARPA and IIJA funds get spent productively and innovatively is like the only game in town really. And, and we're not very good at it here, but. <laughs> well, it, 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 again, it, it, it's a, a lot has been shoved at, um, the various, you know, municipalities and so forth. Um, and, and I think Bruce Katz really, really got onto it early about how difficult it was going to be for even the best of the best, the, the New Yorks and the Washington DCs and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They're having problems. In dealing with the complexity of, you know, our mayor's, new mayor's uh, response to it was, it's complicated. 
<laughs> yeah. and he was like uh, begging, he was begging for some of it to be able to get into the general fund like 10 million that he could they could spend in the old-fashioned way without mm -hmm. the requirements <laughs> wow yeah and it is complicated if you don't recognize that the community is the driver important, and they need to be it's the driver the most important Important and ingredient. If you have no understanding of what that means, you are in a complicated situation. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and yet, if you were working that, you would already know. You have to have been doing this work. You, it's not, you know, in the community, you start five years, you'll get some idea of whether you're going to, you know, have any, any, any game. Ten years better. And what have you done for me lately? So anybody starting today is missed the point, okay? <laughs> you, you really have to have been in the game for a number of years. And if, personally, I've been doing this kind of work in, in Pontiac for, for 20 years. So, so I get some, some, uh, some support. Some cred, yeah. You know? and, and that's about it. And, 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 and then it's about, well, what are we, where are we at? And so for <laughs> instance, we just did the Kukendo K um for Juneteenth okay which was just extraordinary it was just a happening in in the middle of the community in in a little bit of property that somebody purchased four pieces and put them together and said why don't we have a community you know kind of space here and and to be there that day and the show that 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 turned in it just was awesome it was just it's how it should be mm -hmm. and it's how it's going to be it, it, there's there's no getting away that that is the 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 way it's it's going to unfold and in large institutions are going to have a lot of difficulty with that but um it's going to it's it's going to unfold and, and those people are going to receive uh for their efforts the appropriate um in kind if you will whether that be uh participation um, support by a, a additional community members, um, some funding of, of, of such for just those purposes. And I mean, just those purposes, period. Okay. That, and, and it's so hard because that's all new territory that there, there's, there's no, uh, syllabus on how to go about that. And, and you have to have been doing that work and want to do that work. And you know that the people who have been doing that work wear no labels and 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 they don't look to any notoriety and if they weren't doing it um they'd be in the ground but mm -hmm. they are not in the ground and therefore they're doing the work and thank you very much you don't need to make an, an acknowledgement of me i am doing the work okay mm -hmm. it's, it, that's that's beautiful and and people would go well how do you, how do you do that you just gotta have a a, a, a mindset for it and a heart for it. And if you don't have that, don't start. And nonetheless, they won't. Okay. I mean, I watch many people start out with, you know, I'm going to do this. And then they find out that that's a lot of hard work. And then they find out that funding isn't necessarily um, just because you're showing up. It's much, much deeper than that. And that separates those who show up and those who go home. Mm -hmm. So I think we've got a plan. Um, we do, yes. Yeah. Any any final thoughts or comments? Or are we just we're having so much forward? fun we can hardly we can hardly stand it. I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> just that we're having so much fun we can hardly stand it. <laughs> well, I'm glad, I'm glad. Um, yeah, no, I'm 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 pretty happy with yeah, overall with how kind of it all turned out in my my committee was really um, receptive and just felt like it was a really kind of, um, you know, exceptionally original topic, which I was pleased that they, that they liked it. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I must admit, I'm kind of running on fumes at this point, like mentally. <laughs> so I just, <laughs> I'm just ready to get this done and turned in so that I can vacation for a little bit before the next chapter go. starts. But it's there been a go. good run. There we good. Go. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. We'll help with the, we'll, we'll fill in the, the parts that 
there's no we'll time. put the exclamation point on it okay <laughs> yeah it, that sounds great i appreciate we'll, it we'll do it from right. a teasing point of view that we're gonna roll out some other journal articles or something <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah definitely like this is you know this is just kind of a formality at this point it's just like you know and it, and it you know i do want it to be to be good and to be to be accurate but this is not the the yeah. final product right right mm -hmm. right the work Great. in progress well, congratulations on thank the you. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is, thank you. It's really good. We're, we're, we're looking forward to your coronation. <laughs> <laughs> For the Duchess, so he gets a, another coronation. Another coronation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a it's a lot of titles <coughs> to add to one's name. That's a, <laughs> a lot, brutal world. A lot to keep up with. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. Well, um, so does Tuesday work for you all for yeah. meeting again? Okay. Yeah. Do you want to pick a time or do you want to just touch base again on Tuesday morning? Want to try noonish or we'll, Yeah, we'll, noonish works for me. Mm -hmm. Let's do noonish and, okay. and we'll, Perfect. We'll, we'll have at it. Sounds good. And all I'll, right. send, I'll send you a recording of this if you, if you okay. want. Like an yeah, audio. yeah, that would be helpful. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. We'll talk soon. Great. Peace. All right. Have a good weekend. Peace. <laughs> Bye.